Thousands are packing local bars for a big pub crawl. Some businesses say they don't want any part of it. Todd Hicks is live along North Avenue where revelers are just getting started. Todd. Oh, that's right, Charles. You can see how popular this pub crawl has become. But some bars like Two Buck Food and Spirit tell me they don't want the possibility of problems that come with it. The founder of the pub crawl came and talked to me personally, and I told him I just couldn't support him. Lynn Fordhouse is sticking by her guns. The owner of Two Buck Food and Spirit isn't taking part in the Shamrock Shuffle pub crawl, a promise she made before she opened her doors last May. We talked to the neighbors, we talked to the aldermen, and said we weren't going to, so we had to stay true to our word. Her neighbors told her they were worried about noise, trash, and rowdy behavior, possible problems that have had police planning for weeks. You can see that this pub crawl is drawing thousands of people down here on North Avenue, and Milwaukee police are prepared. They have officers, squad cars, even an incident command post based here. We want to support drinking responsibly, having a good time, but we want to make sure everybody's safe and takes good care of themselves and the neighborhood. People like Justin Tarantino tell me they know their limits. I can handle myself no matter what, so I just stay cool and calm and don't act like a fool. And Fort House admits it's nice to get extra customers. She's just not willing to trade in a relationship with her neighbors for one day. We want to make sure we like living here as much as we like working here. They're, they're both important. And Fort House tells me despite not being an official part of that pub crawl, well, you can see that she still has a lot of customers tonight. On your side, live along North Avenue, Todd Hicks, today's TMJ4. Yeah, it looks like it'll be a busy night. Thanks. Tonight, Milwaukee police are urging